Howdy, hey! Trying to appeal to the middle school to teen audience because today I'm going to be watching the first episode of Attaway General by Brat TV. I am 24, so when it comes to TikTok and all the TikTok stars, I'm kind of a boomer. I don't know if anyone in the show is like problematic or like we stan or whatever. I don't I don't know any of that. I don't know the difference between Charlie D'Amelio and Dixie D'Amelio. To me, they're all like 14, and I'm not trying to drag your faves. They're probably all really good kids. So Attaway General, I don't know anything about it. It's the first thing that I'm going to watch is Attaway General meet the cast. So I can kind of get a taste into what I'm delving into here. The teen volunteer or TV program is what you make of it. The more you prove yourself, the more rewarding your time will be. You'll help with clerical work, transpo, keep increasing the company. Make them feel seen, heard, comforted, whatever they need. <laughs> Don't ever forget why you're here. Attaway General is super unexpected and crazy. Also very emotional. I feel like it's a show that has a lot of funny situations. <sighs> but also a lot of relatable situations as well. Sometimes you just need to shut off your brain and follow your heart. You can expect some twists and turns that, I mean, nobody would expect, to be honest. This show is full of surprises. It's a silly show, but also serious in a manner. So I think it'll be really, like, fun for people to watch. It's lots of fun. In case you didn't catch that, the show is lots of fun, and you can expect lots of twists and turns that you aren't expecting. My character is very uninterested in being in a hospital. Just kind of chills, does her own thing, has her own opinions. Kind of like me. If you're so advanced, why don't you go scrub in? Leave me be. Maybe I will. <laughs> if you're so advanced, why don't you just scrub in and leave me be? Maybe I will. Rosie is a super like understanding, patient, respectful character, and she really loves to help people. I just love to help people. So she's really understanding and loves to help people and loves to help people. So from what I'm gathering, twists and turns, unexpected things that we can expect to see, eye rolls, and very mediocre acting from people who have never acted in anything in their life. So now we're moving on to the first episode. I am shaking <laughs> with excitement. It's only 9 minutes and 38 seconds long, which is interesting for a first episode for a pilot at that. I did see in the preview that they went into the supply closet, which is pretty concerning because I am a Grey's Anatomy fan myself and that's, like I said, kind of concerning. I don't want to- I don't want to say that, thank you. So let's dive in guys for my new favorite TV series or YouTube series. The teen volunteer or TV program is what you make of it. We love breaking the fourth wall and looking directly at the camera in the opening shot. This is Nurse Sandy. She's the heart of the ER. Make her laugh and bring her chocolates, and you're golden. But if you make her mad, you're gonna have a really rough road at this hospital. Out of way you are. What do you got? Not meeting more incoming. Ambulance Bay needs hands. Patient Dr. Henry and everyone on call. Metro bus crash downtown. We're about to be at capacity. What can we do? Nothing. Maeve. This is Maeve. She's our top second year. So just an observation and opinion so far. It seems like that blonde girl is the best actress so far. Go off, queen. And I also thought that that girl that they just showed was Bethany Moda. By the way, where is she? Is she okay? This is gonna suck. This is gonna be amazing. Isn't this a volunteer program? Maybe I'm wrong, but like, why would you volunteer for something that's gonna suck? And you're just gonna roll your eyes at every five seconds? Shouldn't we be doing more than learning how to make coffee? There's an emergency out there. I was getting to that. Jack and Rosie, you guys can help me upstairs with lunches. Kit and Georgia, there's a new shipment of donated toys in the shed. I want you to find them, sterilize them, and bring them to the pediatric wing. Okay, well, why are you complaining? You're doing volunteer work. <laughs> like, you're 16. They're not gonna have you doing open heart surgery, especially on your first day. Maybe after, like, several years in the program, they'd be down to, like, do something kind of legally questionable, but, like, what do you expect? Come on. The faster we finish, the faster we can go do something real. We've been here five seconds. Studies show we form lasting impressions about others within seconds of meeting. So I can't be with you in a closet when I meet Dr. Henry. 
If you're 21 plus, take a shot every time that girl rolls her eyes. Actually, don't. You'll probably get alcohol poisoning. You're his daughter? You're so lucky you don't even know it. You're giving me the impression I don't want to be in the same room as you. Well, that's mutual. If you're so advanced, why don't you go scrub in? Leave me be. Maybe I will. So, basically they're trying to copy Christina and Meredith, right? So, why did you volunteer to work at a hospital? I got arrested. Beats Juby. First of all, pumpkin. The hairnet's supposed to cover your entire hair. Second of all, I have a very hard time believing that they would put a teen who was arrested and going to go to juvie in a hospital filled with children. Questionable. The judge should probably have his morals evaluated. Excuse me? Excuse me? Hello? Hey, do you work here? Sure do. What do you need? That should get her disqualified from the program. She just lied about working at a hospital when she done don't work at the hospital. That is so unsafe. And the fact that the people who are coordinating this volunteer program are just letting these teenagers roam free around the hospital to even make those claims. They need to have their licenses taken away now. Oh no, please no. Depends where I put it. Your new TV, aren't you? Nicely done, Sherlock. Now, what are you doing? Do you always sneak up on people when they're sleeping? Actually, I had a reason to be in here. Some of us have work. Am I supposed to congratulate you? If you want to. While you guys are patting yourselves on the back, your patients are still in critical condition. Don't ever forget why you're here. But, despite a few hiccups, you guys survived. Next week, Try to be a little more professional. These will help. Wow, this is so cool! You think we have to wear these every day? I really hope so. It has my name on it. Yeah, Jack, it does. Oh, by the way, my cat's here now. I love you! Gonna be honest, not as bad as I was expecting. If I'm putting myself in like the mind of the intended audience, like middle schoolers, I could see this being the kind of thing that I actually would have enjoyed when I was like 13. I do think it's like a really smart idea to put like the hottest internet stars in one show because it doesn't matter if they're good or bad actors. It doesn't matter if the storyline's good or not. People who stand them are still gonna watch it and I gotta respect that hustle. So apparently next week we're gonna have more uncomfortable storage closet situations which i am not looking forward to but i will watch for the sake of y'all and views all right well thank you so much for watching all right love you bye one more dad for the kids all right i'm sorry goodbye